Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my most used bags of 2022. Um, I'm kind of surprised because out of all that I have, I felt like there were four that I used the most, like four that I couldn't stop grabbing. And yeah, let's get started. Oh, first I'm gonna try to not use this hand to show you because I have two nasty cuts on my hand from um, opening up stuff from the girls' gifts yesterday. So yeah, um, if you see them though, I'm really sorry in advance. Okay, bag number one should come as no surprise. This is what I used literally most of the year. It would be my Speedy B25 in the monogram. Uh, I don't know what it is about this bag, but I absolutely love it. Um, I did get a new crossbody strap for it because the first one was like patina-ing on the two outer sides, but the short one, it was just not changing color whatsoever. So my essay was able to get me a whole new one and uh, it's just so good. I, I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's the fact that it's completely versatile. Like it's got the long strap, it's got the short strap. You can just grab it by the top handle. You can take it all off and it's a date bag. It's just so good everything about this bag i love i love that it holds everything i love that the zipper is really good yes i'm really into the sound of the zipper um i'm a big fan of the pocket on it i, I know it's smaller than um the 30 but still it holds like some random things that i need to grab like my lip gloss um <clears throat> i did though have an issue with it more recently when I was shopping with my daughter all day, for some reason I couldn't find anything all day, which is usually never a problem for me, but it was driving me insane. So I got an organizer from um, Organize My Bag and I have that in here right now. And yeah, that even made another big difference. It made it even more user friendly and easy to find everything. So this is definitely number one. Um, I do wanna say though, I've had this what for two years now and it's still not really getting a very dark patina. Whoops. Like it's even, but it's just not darkening much. You all know that I love a dark patina, but I don't know what it is. And no, I don't treat my bags ever. And it's not a treated leather like some other ones, but it's just not darkening. But yeah, one day maybe, but I absolutely love this. The second most used is kind of close to the same thing. It's my Speedy B25 in the saffron and the emperor. This is my absolute new favorite. This color is my favorite. I just love it. I love this bag. I love that the zippers go down and so you can get in it way better. I love that it's got, um, sorry, it's stuffed right now. It's got two flat pockets along with a giant zipper pocket. So the organization is just, it's so good. It's even better than having an organizer in my opinion because it doesn't take up any extra space. I don't know, I love it. This is just so good. And then it's super comfortable. It's, the leather is just like slouchy but not too slouchy. The crossbody strap is amazing. Um, I do have a few glazing things on it. There is a melting glazing right there. You probably can't see it, but it's there. And then the strap had glazing issues kind of all over it. So my SA was able to get me a new strap. So I have a brand new strap in here that looks exactly like the old one. It's just not gonna have any issues. Um, for those that did ask me, Louis Vuitton offered to give me a um, a gift card or a credit for the store to get whatever I wanted to exchange this because of the glazing issues But I love it way too much. So I don't want to do that. But yeah, I, I freaking love this bag um, when I when they ordered me the long strap um, It came straight from France and they only sent the outer two first for some reason They messed up and didn't send the middle. So I had to use it on the short strap <sighs> I have to say I wasn't a big fan of it on the short strap so it's this is gonna be one that I'm just gonna carry long or by the top handle um, yeah I love it I just I freaking love it if you're thinking about getting an on speedy I highly recommend it okay the next one is my no way BB in the Azure this came as a complete surprise because I never thought that I would want an Azure bag. I always said I don't like them. They have a chance of turning yellow. I'm not a fan of white, 
but I saw this brand new on Fashion File. <laughs> Actually, it was listed as very good, but the pictures, I was like, no, that's brand new. So I ordered it and it was brand new, like smelt brand new, had zero signs of wear. The cord was stiff. I mean, it was, it was brand new, like that's all there is. So anyway, and I just loved the look of it. And when I saw it on there, I was like, I think I need it. I have loved the crap out of this. It is getting a beautiful patina. The bottom is nice. Um, let's see if you can see the patina there. It's just getting a beautiful patina. It's getting darker. Like this part is pretty dark. And uh, that's just because literally I use this so much. Actually, I want to almost say that I I've probably used this more than the other two. I was thinking I used the other two more, but now like as I'm really thinking about it, I think that I've grabbed for this. Just the way it lays, I, I you know, I'm a no way person. I love this. I love it has one strap, just one solid strap that's really comfortable. I don't know, I love it. And I haven't babied it whatsoever. I am aware that it could yellowish over time, but I'm just gonna accept it. And I, I can't wait till this gets super dark because I absolutely love it. Okay, the final bag is going to be my Montserrat, what is this, PM? Yeah, I think it's the PM and the Emprunt. Oh, I love this one. I used this so much when the girls had softball and soccer. It was just perfect to throw on my back. Um, I was able to throw a water bottle in it. Again, this is stuffed. Um, but I love that it's got the snap closure instead of the buckle like my vintage one does. I also love the zip pocket up here. Sorry, I'm trying not to use my gross hand. Um, I'm able to put my lip gloss and gum and just some random things that I grab often there. Um, actually, and when I've been using it, I haven't been using this. I've been using my purple charm because the black and the bright purple are so pretty together. Um, but anyway, it's super comfortable. The straps are comfortable. The only con on this one is, um, whoops, that's in the way is that this thing slides down and then this will flip over and that will drive you insane because you've got it on your back and you've got this thing flapping and hitting you. But besides that, I love it. I love that it has this top handle on here. I've seen people take pictures of it on the crook of their arm. Like it goes to here on me. I don't know, they must have really tiny arms. So I've definitely never worn it like that. I just grab it by the top or I'll fling it over one shoulder and I typically wear it like that. Or like when we're carrying a ton of stuff up to the field, then I put it on both. But yeah, I don't know, I love it. Um, it does have the folded corners, which is another reason I wouldn't get the new version in the um, canvas because I think that it will have the, um, issues where it cracks on the corners because a lot of bags do that when they're folded. But since this is leather, I don't have any issues and I have to say I have used this a ton and I do not baby it. I should because it's literally probably one of the most expensive bags I've ever owned. But I don't because I'm getting like actual wear out of it. Like I'm wearing it as it's, as it's intended. I'm putting things in it, putting water bottles in it, setting where I need to set it, you know, just using the crap out of it and it's holding up. This leather is so good. Um, I don't see any of the emprunt prints coming out. They still look perfect to me. And I absolutely, I, I definitely still recommend this one too. Like I would go emprunt over the canvas any day. Well, that's it. That is my top most used bags of 2022. I would love to know your top bags. Please tell me down below. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next year. Next year. I guess maybe I will see you next year, but I'll see you next time. Bye.